Hello students and welcome to this video for Excel chapter one hands-on exercise number five. So number five, this is page 465 in your textbook. 465, I'm going to read the information um, at the top while you're turning there. It says here um, we're going to be working with worksheets, page setup, and printing. So you are ready to complete the OCOS worksheet. You want to copy the existing worksheet so that you display the results on the original sheet and display formulas on the duplicate sheet. Before printing the worksheet for your supervisor, you want to make sure the data will appear professional when printed. So you will adjust some page setup options to put the finishing touches on your worksheet. Um, so this is good because sometimes you have Excel worksheets that you just never print off and so they look fine on the computer but if you're planning on printing it off and giving it to people on a piece of paper sometimes you have to make adjustments and we're going to do that today so page 465 you're turning there I'm already there and we've got our file open so step A is open up Excel chapter 1 hands on 4 markup so I have that opened and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on file choose save as and it's telling us to save it under a different name. So all we're doing is we're just changing that H4 to H5. So it's pretty simple there. That's step A. I'm going to click Save. Yes, I want to replace it. You won't have to do that, hopefully. All right, then what we're going to do, step B, it says right click the Sheet 1 tab. Now remember, our Sheet tabs are down here. So here's Sheet 1. I'm going to right click it. And it says to select Move or Copy. So right here, move or copy. Now when I click it, a dialog box comes up. And you can see it down here, our dialog box. It says um, we want to click the Create a Copy checkbox. So I'm going to check that. It should be checked. And then you're going to click OK. It ends up creating a copy for us. So you can see sheet one, number two, and then the actual sheet one. So this is our copy right here. Now it says. Um, this is step D. It says drag sheet one, number two, to the right of sheet one. So I'm going to click, hold down, and watch as I move this over here to this side of sheet one. I let go, and you'll notice they've switched places. So you can just click, drag, pull it over like that to change the order. Then it says we're going to right-click sheet one with the number two. And we're going to select rename. Then we're going to type... September, so you can see it changes it to edit mode, September. Type that in, then press enter. And then it says rename sheet one. I hope you know it. I actually did that wrong. Let me undo that. I hope you know it. I can't do that here. Okay, let me redo this here. I'm not supposed to name this one September. I'm supposed to name this one um, formulas. So sorry, formulas. And then, of course, sheet one you rename as September. So this one should be September, and then the one to the right is formulas. Technically, they're both the same page, um, so just make sure it's in the right order. All right, now we're on step F. It says press Control and the grave accent key. Remember, that's next to the number 1 on your keyboard. And it changes it to formulas mode. And I'm going to zoom out so I, you can see this a little bit better. Um, more of the whole thing, so to speak. Don't want to make it too small. OK. So I've switched it so I can see the whole page. Then it says change these columns widths in the formula sheet. So you notice you can adjust column widths in the uh, formula version and then um, or excuse me, in this mode, and then you can also adjust it in the other mode. So uh, it says to be on the formula sheet, so I'm going to click on formulas. So you know, let's do this. I actually chose the wrong sheet. I'm getting thrown off a little bit. Okay, leave September as is. Okay, we're going to adjust this a little bit later. Leave September as is. Let's go to formula sheet. There we go. And then control and grave accent. <laughs> Got to analyze and adjust. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so we're on this formula sheet, and we are going to um, change the columns here. Okay, so I'm going to click on column A and go to format and adjust the column width here because it says adjust these column width. So I'm on the formula sheet tab and I'm adjusting it on here, not September, like I was trying to do earlier. 
in case you were lost here from that. So it says here for column A, it should be 13. So I'm going to type in 13, push enter. So that's column A. And then it says for column C and D. So I'm going to select C and D. Notice how I just clicked on one, dragged it across, and selected both of them. It says we're adjusting it to 0.6, or excuse me, 6, just 6. So right here it says 8, we're going to change it to 6. And then I push enter, and it adjusted it there. And then it says columns E, G, so notice I click E, and I'm going to hold down control and push G and H and I. So those four right there. And I'm going to, oh, I need to select that one. And I'm going to select here, or excuse me, change it to 7. So format, column width, and we're typing in 7. You can see it adjusted it. And then um, for column F, so right here, column F. And notice I can right click as well and do column width here. Um, but I was showing you the button there. Column width for co or excuse me for column F is five. Okay, so remember, um, in case you got confused from earlier, you are making these adjustments here to the formulas sheet. Don't do it to the September one like I had almost started to do. Excuse me, you're doing formulas sheet. All right, so um, now that we've done that, it says step H. We're going to save the workbook. And now we're going to be working on step number two, which is set page orientation, scaling, and margin options. Which you've worked a little bit with this in Word, um, but of course there's always a slight change when we have Excel. All right, step A, it says click the September sheet tab. So now we're going to the September sheet tab. And then what we're going to do um, is it says press and hold down control, and then click the formulas sheet tab. So hold down control and then click the formula sheet tab. Notice I've selected both sheets by doing this. Then it says step B, click the page layout tab. So I have both of these selected because I held down control and clicked on the other one. I click on the page layout tab and then I click orientation and then I'm going to select landscape. So right now it's portrait, we're going to choose landscape. Took a little bit to load You'll notice that page preview line came up here, landscape. Of course, remember, landscape is left and right is longer as opposed to up and down. All right, step C, it says click margins in the page setup group, so margins. And then we're going to click on here, custom margins, custom margins down at the bottom. Now it says click the top spin arrow, so right here's the top spin arrow to display one. So I just click once and it displays one. And then it says, step E, click check the horizontally checkbox. So over here, center on page, it says horizontally, check that. And then it says, step F, click the page tab. So we've been dealing with margins, so we switch this to one. We did horizontally, clicking the page tab. And we're going to choose to click in the scaling section here. So right here, scaling, right now it's set to adjust to. We're going to click fit to fit to and we're going to leave it as is and then click OK. It's going to take a little bit to load and then we're going to click save. Alright so we've got step three now create a header. We're on page 467 of your textbook 467. Step A ensure the worksheets are still grouped which that means both of them being selected. Then it says click the insert tab and we're choosing header and footer in the text group. So you'll notice because both pages are selected, a lot of these buttons are not available. But the header and footer is in the text group. So click that. It's going to display it um, in the page view. Um, so we have our normal view and then we have kind of a page layout. Um, it's more of the page layout here. Then it says click in the left section of the header. So left section. I'm gonna oh, I can't really zoom in here. I'm going to leave that. So left header. And it says, click in the center section. Oh, wait, excuse me. Click in the left section of the header and type in your name. So we're still on B. We need to type in our name. So first and last name, just like that. Then it says, click in the center section. So I just did that. And click sheet name in the header and footer elements on the design tab. So up here, 
header and footer elements and sheet name is right here so click on that it's gonna come up as a code in here and that's fine then step D click in the right section of the header and click file name and the header and footer element so we just clicked on sheet name now we're choosing file name and you can see it comes up as a code and eventually it'll change when we switch to something else all right so step C click in any cell in the worksheet so I did that you can see our information came up how it should then it says click normal on the status bar so this of course is our status bar and we're clicking on normal page layout right here that button normal page layout then it says click the review tab so we're going to do that check uh, and click spelling so spelling and it says um, to correct all errors if any so I'm going to tell it do I want to check for the beginning yes and of course there's no errors so it says okie dokie um, and then step F we're still on it we clicked OK and it says you're good to go save it and we're going to keep going here now you notice um, these ones come up as a bunch of number symbols and that's just because um, right now the number is longer than the column width so I'm actually going to leave it alone um, I may need to adjust it a little bit um, but for right now I'm just going to leave it as is all right step F looks like we're going to do file and print so actually you know what let's go ahead and adjust it right now I'm just going to stretch this out just a little bit till it is long enough for my number so you notice I brought it out just to 76 pixels because it was a larger number and this one we're going to do the same thing 76 pixels okay we might have to go a little bit more there we go 76 pixels works for each of them so um, stretch it out here for right now if yours looks like that then it says um, click the file tab and we're going to choose print it says verify the printer box displays the printer you want to use to print your worksheet so um, we are choosing Microsoft print to PDF because we're not actually printing um, the file here um, also remember that you are submitting anytime you print a PDF copy you submit that so you're gonna end up submitting this PDF file along with the Excel worksheet or the workbook okay so verify your printer displays the right one and then also verify the last setting option displays fit sheet on one page which it does then it says click next page to see the second page and of course it's right there which is the data on the formula worksheet and verify the last setting which says fit sheet on one page so you can see right now it says no scaling we're going to choose fit sheet on one page so fit sheet on one page um, that worked and you can see it scales it down which is nice because there's no point in printing an extra page for this stuff that's trailing off it works better if we can just scale it alright then it says D click the back arrow and save your workbook ha huh, gotcha here we didn't actually print it so you won't need a PDF um, so we didn't actually print it but I will go and see if you did save these printing options so that's why um, we have you do it here so um, you didn't have to do a PDF this time but you will eventually um, with your exercises save the file and of course you can end up closing it so for this one you're gonna end up submitting this one and you can see um, I'm gonna click here so that way it just selects the one here we have our September page which looks like this let me zoom up here so it looks like this and then we got our formulas page which looks like this you notice I didn't change the date something ended up happening here um, with that um, I didn't change it which you don't have to um, just leave it as is for right now um, but I should see everything else is accurate with your file. So 9-1-2018, and then, of course, this one um, right here. So um, that is, again, how you complete Excel Chapter 1, Hands-On Exercise Number 5.